Hi guys, Simon here. I want to show you how to get the Tibo achievement in Vikings War of Clans by using the macro recorder from Chitbit. You can find the link for the macro recorder in the video description. Viking itself is played on the Plarion Play Launcher. Before we start, this is not a regular tutorial how to use the macro recorder. There are thousands of it already on YouTube. So let's begin. You can get the Tibo achievement by crafting a specific amount of rings. This graphic is from the website of vikings.help. Link is in the description. In my case, I decided to craft only dragon rings. They need only two items and so it is one of the cheapest rings in the game. Furthermore, if it gets dismantled, you get one item back. So the loss is only 50%. To avoid too many items in my stock, the automation will do two steps. First step, dismantle all already crafted dragon rings. Second step, crafting dragon rings in the amount which is needed. It will look like this. I'm in my stock menu and I scroll down till I passed all my gear which I want to keep. Then I click on the gear part and check if it's a dragon ring. If yes, I will dismantle it. Is every dragon ring dismantled? I will move to the equipment tab and scroll down until the dragon ring is shown. Then I will select it and craft it. Here again as a scheme. I start at the stock tab, choose the gear. If it's a dragon ring, then I dismantle it. If not, I'm moving to the equipment tab and select the dragon ring and craft it. This was for the theory, now it's showtime. Okay, so first of all, I want to start with a loop for getting beneath my equipment, which I want to keep. So I start with a little start of a loop and then I will yeah, add a delay and select the scroll down button here and put in here the coordinates. And then I will just close the loop. So let's try it. And as you can see, it will scroll down uh, the 21 I counted before. And you see, we are now at the bottom. So at this point, I will just add a new delay. One second. And then I will select the left corner down there with another mouse click. At this point, I want to open the... Yeah, the gear and as you can see here it's a dragon ring so at this point I want to see if it's a dragon ring so I put here an if image is and I will select only a single part this little part there because as you see in the background this is a ring on legendary status so but I want to do the statement for every kind of dragon ring Nevertheless, it will click here on this mantle and then I will just yeah, add here the else because you know when I have here dismantle it, I want to do what happens when it's not a dragon ring. So then I just want to click on this X button here and put here the coordinates as well. All right, then I will add a new delay and then I will just, yeah, end the if statement. All right, then I will just put it up and ah, you see, I have made a mistake. Um, after I click on this metal, I really have to confirm this. So basically, I would just have to add here a new mouse click to confirm this message. Then I will just put in here the coordinates and yeah, give it here and add a little delay in the end. All right, so then I will just put everything back and start again the test. So as you can see, we scroll down like we did before, and then we come 
to the bottom. It's a dragon ring. I want to dismantle it and it is dismantled. All right, this works fine now. So what I gonna do, I do just don't want to dismantle one dragon ring. I want to do this with all of it. So what I do, I just repeat the whole scenario now three times to, yeah, to just scroll down every time and then see if this is a dragon ring and then I will just dismantle it. At this point you see I just added here an exit loop because when this is not a dragon ring then I just want to break out of this loop. All right, I made it like three times now, so let's just try it. As you see, I have two dragon rings left, so I will just dismantle the first one. All right, so, and now the loop starts. Now is the second one to go. And after this, we will just simply see if the routine is working or my white boots will be dismantled as well. I hope not. But, as you can see here, it's doing fine. All right. As you see, it recognizes that these are not dragon rings. This is not a dragon ring. And it will just yeah, exit the loop. All right. After this, um, I want to switch to the equipment tab and yeah, put in here the coordinates for the click. And then I want to select the emulets. Uh, I want to select the emulets in the left corner. Click here again with the coordinates. And yeah, add a little delay as well. All right, so the next step would be scrolling down until I receive. I get to the point where the dragon rings are shown. Okay, in my case, I counted it before, it's 63 times. And so now I will just move everything back and I start again if it, work, if it works. All right, so it just scrolls down. It selects the white boots. It recognizes that this is not a dragon ring. It will exit it. It will jump to the equipment. It will click on the amulets and then it will start scrolling again. It took really long. I don't know if it's uh, at this point as much as I have. You have to figure this out by yourself if you want to recreate it. And you see here the dragon ring and now it stops. And so this was the right amount. All right, the next thing I want to do is, yeah, adding a little delay and I want to click on the dragon ring. So I put in here the coordinates and simply just have it here. Yeah. Add a little delay for this as well after the click. And then I click on it and the next step would be clicking on craft. Putting again the coordinates into it. And then I will, after I add the delay, I want to click on free. As you see here, my VIP level is active, so it's uh, um, I can simply just run the time without boosting it. All right, I click on free. I made one, so let's just put everything back and start again. All right, as you can see right now, I just should see here my dragon ring, which I created, and I will just dismantle it. That's fine. All right, then I will just scroll down again. But right now, it will recognize that there is no ring. So it will just close this view, switch to the equipment tab, switch to emulets, will start scrolling down, and 
This looks very long. And now we see the dragon ring. It will click on it, it will craft it, it will put on free, and it's working. So we made one dragon ring, but that is not what we want. We want to add or want to create more. So I add a little delay. I add a little delay here as well, because at this point my other loop want, will start. I will just put in here the three for the example, and then I will just end the loop at here. So this should be it. I just everything back for the last test. And I will just scroll down. Here's the dragon ring which we created. I will just dismantle it, confirm. Scrolling again down. And there is nothing left. So I will just close the view, switch to equipment, click on amulets and start scrolling again. The dragon ring is shown. I will click on it, craft, free. All right, then second one. And now the third one. All right, and the script has stopped. As you can see, it works fine, and that's it. A little warning in the end, just be aware that in this automation, I don't consider the material type. The game itself selected the type with the most value. Another tip, if you have reached the last level, then you can simply delete the craft part and just run the last time the delete sequence. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I could help you with this achievement. Please subscribe. I will upload more tutorials like this in the future. Please also leave a comment and give it a thumbs up or down. Have a nice day and see you soon. Bye.